How's it going students? Welcome to Mr. Jaw's Real Quick Science videos where I cover science topics in a short amount of time. Let's get started. So in this quick lesson we're going to learn how to balance chemical equations and we're going to look at example problem one. So what are the steps to balance chemical equations? The first one is you need to count each type of atom in the reactants, so on the reactant side, and then on the product side. And you are going to place coefficients, if necessary, in front of the symbols or chemical compound to increase the number of atoms to make sure that each side is balanced. Now, here's something to keep in mind. You cannot change the subscript. So remember, the subscript is the small number next to the element. You can only add coefficients. The next thing is when you're trying to determine where to start adding coefficients, you want to start with the compound that has the most amount of atoms in it. And then you simply repeat steps one and two until it is balanced on both sides. So this is our first example problem. This is H2 plus O2, and it yields H2O. Now these are our reactants. H2, which is hydrogen gas, is combining with O2, which is oxygen gas. And then this is the product. So they combine together and form water. So let's see how that looks. So on the bottom here, we have our reactants. We have one set of H2 and we have one set of O2. So what happens is we get oxygen and it combines, it forms a bond with the two hydrogens. Now you notice the oxygen right there. You can't have anything left over. So when you're looking at chemical reactions, everything needs to be accounted for. You can't have a lone atom of oxygen. So let's see that again. You have oxygen combines with hydrogen. Now let's think about this. What do you need to form another water compound? It is going to be another hydrogen. You need another set of hydrogen, H2, because then, check this out, you see that? We have nothing left on the reactant side. So the recipe to create water is this right here. We need two sets of H2 and one set of oxygen. So this is what's happening when you look at something like this. This is the chemical formula, the chemical equation to create water. And what we need to do is we need to add coefficients so that it looks like this. So let me walk you through how we do that. So we are going to draw a, draw a line to distinguish between our reactant side and our product side. And then from there, we need to figure out how many hydrogen we're dealing with. We have two atoms of hydrogen because of the subscript. Let's take a look at oxygen. Oxygen is two, same thing, right? We have O2. And then hydrogen on the right side, the product side, we have two. And then what about oxygen? We only have one. Remember that if there is no subscript, it is just one. So it looks like this, H2O, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So how do we balance this? Well, take a look at hydrogen. That's balanced, but what about oxygen? That is not balanced. So when we add a coefficient, we need to think about what number can I multiply to one to make it two. We're going to multiply by two. You see that? So I'm going to multiply by two 
So that way I can double the amount of oxygen. But did you notice what happened? We didn't just get another oxygen. We got another set of H2O. So hydrogen is no longer two. It's four. And oxygen is no longer one because two multiplied by one is going to be two. So we successfully balanced our oxygen, but now our hydrogen is not balanced. So how do we solve that? What we're going to do is we need to think, what number can I multiply to two to get four? Well, it's going to be two again, because two multiplied by two is going to give me four. So this is the recipe to make water. And now we have successfully balanced our chemical equation.